we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Zone Alarm Extreme Security. We're gonna see if it really is as extreme as it says it is. All right, before we take a look at the program, this is how the program looks like here. Let's take a look at PC Magazine, see what they say. Uh, say the pros on it, are it's an award-winning antivirus. There's no, no doubt about that. Zone Alarm is pretty well known. No hassle firewall, threat emulation to detect zero-day malware, effective anti-theft, comprehensive system tune-up, which I will show you that in a bit. Good malicious URL blocking, that's good. The cons is that it's threat emulation emits an exe file, poor, has poor spam filtering, Windows 8 compatibility problems, so it doesn't work that well with Windows 8. Now, I'm using Windows 7 right now, but uh, if you use it on Windows 8, let, let us know in the comments section of the video and keep us informed if, uh, see how it works if you get this program, all right? And it does, uh, doesn't work very well with Windows 8 using parental control. The bottom line is that Zone Alarm Extreme Security has some good components, some bad ones. Award-winning antivirus is just to smell parental control under Windows 8. You can do better. So it looks like PC Magazine only gave it three, three stars here or three circles, whatever you might want to call that. They don't like it very much, I guess. And it looks like it goes for $44.95 lowest price, but it MSRPs for $89.95. Here is the program. Let's take a look at it. Right off the bat, it gives you three s selections here antivirus and firewall, web and privacy, mobility, and data. Let's take a look at antivirus and firewall. Click on view details to get there. Antivirus and untested firewall is on. Advanced firewall is on. Threat emulation is on. Application control is on. Let's take a look at web privacy. Parental controls, you gotta click on install to install that, and you can set what control you want for your kids or whoever's using the computer. Privacy toolbar has not been installed. I'm not gonna install it because toolbars do slow down your computer. Anti-keylogger is off. Let's turn that bastard on. And it says you gotta restart your browsers for the anti-keylogger to work. So basically what a keylogger is, is, is a virus that records your keys. Let's say you type in your social security number or your credit card number it'll record what you're typing in and they can steal your information that way. I'm gonna turn on anti-spam. Even though it's only for Microsoft Outlook, I really don't have Microsoft Outlook, so we can turn that back off if you want. What's really cool about this program is it has a Find My Laptop software embedded into it. So if you have a laptop, you can turn this on and basically if somebody steals your laptop or whatever, you can always track it and try to find it. So that's pretty good. This program does come with five gigs of uh, online backup when you buy it, and you can click here to activate it. So that's good, you get backup. PC tune-up improved. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the PC tune-up here. It's got its own little program for the PC tune-up. It's pretty cool. So step one, I'm not gonna do because I don't have nothing to back it up to. But step two is scan for problems. Click, click on it, click next. It will scan for problems. This is gonna take a while. All right, it's finished, and it found a hundred problems. All right, complete your next step. Click on that. Click on repair selected items, or repair all problems. Let's do that better. And it looks like they're all repaired. Continue the next step. Registry defrag. Frag. That's going to take a while. All right, that's finished. It wants to reboot the computer. We'll do that later. All right, next step is to optimize. So here it has the steps on the left hand side. Follow those steps and optimize successful. Protect. This is the last one. I'm gonna click protect all. I wonder what that magic button is right there. You see that on the left hand side? Let's click on that, see what that does. Magic button, magic stuff. What the hell is it doing? The magic button will run all four tools for you with one single click. Just click the start button and PC Tuna will get to work. Does it get any way easier than that? Okay, so it just does everything at once when you click the magic button. It does all of these at once, I guess. Cool. And that's
that's going to take a while. Oh, it looks like it done. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. And now it needs to reboot. So once you're done doing all this, make sure you reboot your computer. Cool. We're done with the tune-up. So what I like about this program is that it comes with a tune-up. The one of the best tune-up programs I've seen. Tune-up utilities that I've seen. That's awesome. And last but not least, it, this does have a scan function. You click on scan. And you can go ahead and scan. I don't know why it's grayed out right now, though. I think I need to restart the computer. But you should be able to click on that scan button. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you should be able to click on there, right? If, if you've used this program and you, you know what's going on, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. Let us know what's going on here. But I can't scan. I think I need to reboot the computer for it to work. I did use it a while ago. All right. If you use this program or decide to download the free trial, let us know, guys. All right. Can't click on it. It's, it's grayed out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new software video tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.